Welcome students, I'm Mr. Boscarini. And for our unit on forces and motion, today's lesson will be about the second law of motion by Sir Isaac Newton. It is our experience that an object with a bigger mass will always be more difficult to uh, put into motion than an object with a lighter mass. It will be more difficult to start it moving, it will be more difficult to stop it from moving. It will also be more difficult to change the direction of movement of an object with a bigger mass compared to an object with a smaller mass. We know already that mass is linked to, to the amount of matter of an object. Today we will see that mass is also linked to a concept known as inertia. Inertia tells you how easy or difficult it is to change the state of motion of an object. The relationship between mass or inertia and force is at the core of the second law of motion. Let's see how. Let's, do, let's compare two objects with a very different mass. Let's imagine you have one of your friends on a skateboard and you want to push him. It is quite easy to uh, make him start moving. So you apply a force and his speed will change from zero to non-zero. That means he will accelerate. So to a given force will correspond a given acceleration. On the other hand, if you want to push Eddie the Elephant, who also loves going on a skateboard, if you apply exactly the same force, it's quite easy to see that Eddie the Elephant will experience a much smaller acceleration, a much smaller change of speed. So if you apply the same force, at the end you will move much slower than your friend. The same applies if instead of put into motion, you want to stop something from moving. Again, you have your friend who's moving towards you. You can easily stop them. Maybe it's not the safest thing to do, but it shouldn't be that difficult. So you can stop him from moving. On the other, on the other hand, if you have any other elephant moving at exactly the same speed towards you, maybe it's not the wisest idea to, to try to stop him. Again, the difference is given by the huge mass of Eddie compared to the one of your friend. Now, Sir Isaac Newton nicely summarized all these things by writing this very elegant formula. And this is what we call the second law of motion. F equal M times A, with force, where F, sorry, stands for force, measured in Newtons, M is a mass, or the inertia, measured in kilograms, and A is the acceleration, measured in meters per second squared. What is interesting is that the second law actually gives you a link between Newtons kilograms and meters per second squared because a force of one newton applied to a mass of one kilogram will correspond to an acceleration of one meter per second squared. Now as for any formula we've seen so far we would like to see how we can twist that formula around and again we can use a magic triangle. This time we will have to write it this way F M times A. So let's start with our first example. We have a mass of an object, 10 kilograms, its acceleration, 2 meters per second squared. We want to know what's the force acting on that object. 
So, as usual, I will call the, the part I want to find, and that is f, and you see n times a, 10 times 2, that gives me 20 newtons. In the second example, I have a mass of 10 kilograms, I have a force of 100 newtons, so I want to find the acceleration, I'm going to cover the acceleration. As you can see, it's force divided by mass, 100 divided by 10, gives me an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. Last but not least, if I have a force of 30 newtons and a corresponding acceleration of 6 meters per second squared, I can figure out what is the mass of, a, of the object upon which that force is applied. I'm going to call the mass, and as you can see, the mass is given by the ratio between force over acceleration. 30 divided by 6 gives me a mass of 5 kilograms. So, what was the learning goal of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to apply the, link, the formula, the equation that links together these three uh, quantities. The force applied on an object, the mass of an object, and the corresponding acceleration. Our next lesson will be about the link similarities and differences between mass and weight, and the last, the third law of motion by Sir Isaac Newton.